everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome the newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey by hitting that subscription button it's free and hit the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads i would just like to mention that if the video is a little bit too fast for you up top there's three little buttons you can click there and slow down the video to the speed you'd like also right next to it there's the cc uh, letters for closed caption you can turn that on and you can read all the stitch that I'm calling down here by pausing the video take notes will make it easier for you now normally when I upload um, the videos it takes about an hour for YouTube to uh, search all my words that I'm saying so it can appear on the closed caption so don't panic if you don't see right away the closed captions because the video has just been launched it will show up in about a half an hour to an hour after the upload I also would like to mention that if you have extra yarn extra thread and you'd like to help the women in need we highly appreciate it and being very very grateful for it thank you for the ones that already have helped and are still helping if you like to donate right below the video there's a little bag of dollar sign you can donate whatever amount you'd like nobody's asking for millions anything helps it adds up at the end uh, you can also go into the description box. My PayPal account is there. You can donate through there if you'd like also. Please always give a thumbs up on the video if you like the video. It does help the video to circulate and also uh, to be recognized worldwide. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's one way to help me out and to help to continue to create these beautiful pieces. Um, also share on your Facebook public. It costs nothing. It's everything is free. There's no charge of anything. So please help out to grow the channel. I do have a Facebook group, a uh, private group. If you have a profile, you're more than welcome to uh, request to be a member. It's free, of course, and uh, we'll approve you. You must have a profile. Be careful with the links that you go into the groups that says cut and bit these are fraud uh, scammers that go through your phones your computers and take every information of yours do not open up those links there's a lot of hackers in the groups now that's why i made sure that my group is private i want to thank every single one of you from the start uh being with me and uh, thank you so much for the newcomers it costs nothing to subscribe so please do so thank you so much everybody everything will be listed always in the description box for every pattern that i create the sizes the thread that i use which is portugal thread they are 100 percent cotton thread four ply which is similar to aunt lydia number three which num number three aunt lydia is just a little bit thicker than my thread not by much but a little bit i usually use a hook three or 3.5 a small one for tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors of course so thank you everybody uh any other questions suggestions please feel free to uh comment you can always get a hold of me if your intentions are to uh give some thread or yarn away there's my email below the description box there's my facebook page that you can follow also my facebook group my instagram my tiktok so there's so many ways you can message me thank you so much everybody i hug every single one of you and much blessings to all of you okay let's get started okay everyone so today we're going to be working on a flower perfect for any pattern that you want to create with i am planning to work on a project hopefully it will work out my voice is a little bit grumpy because i have terrible chronic sinus and this is a change of climate now going into the winter so it's um i'm pretty stuffed up so i apologize if my voice is not clear enough um we'll take it from there right so i'm going to use the royal blue and off-white so it's almost like a beige color and we're going to create these flowers, but I'm going to alternate, okay, for my pattern. And I will be needing 14 of them for my pattern. Um, this was a pattern that my uh, one of my monitors in my group have created out of an old, old book that she has. 
and I'm modifying to my own style. Hopefully I can get it because it's a bit touchy and complicated um, to look into the picture and try to figure out the stitches. But I'm going to turn it into my own. I hope you guys are going to like it. And so stay tuned for that. So we're going to get started. We'll need some beads if you want to put um, whatever color beads you want matching your flowers. Because this is gold. I know that the camera is terrible for coloring. But um, I'm going to be using also for my pattern the off-white. Okay. Beige if you want to call it. Um, so like I said, we'll need 14 of these. It's going to take seven on each side of the pattern. It will be, it, it's not an oval, it's um, not square either. It will end up in a point, more or less. Uh, so I'll be using a 2.75 scissors and a small one to tuck in loose ends. This is four ply, similar to Aunt Lydia number three, a little bit thinner. But this project would have been perfect on number 10. This is going to be huge because I'm using a four. So it would be perfect for eight to 12 seater diurum set. But it would definitely be perfect for a four or six seater with number 10 at Lydia. So... We're going to get started. Uh, these are 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. Uh, if you do want to make a huge, then I suggest use Aunt Lydia number three. If not, then go with uh, number 10. Aunt Lydia is perfect for that. Okay. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Also share. It's very important. Make your comments. It helps uh, the video. Sharing is caring. Uh, please consider also donating to the women in need. And thank you so much for the super thanks, super chat donation that you have given for myself. I'm so grateful to every single one of you. And um, please share on your Facebook public, with your friends, family, on your WhatsApp, on your Instagram, whatever the case may be. And if you're creating my pieces, please tag me along so other people can recognize the channel. That's a way of helping me out to grow even bigger. Uh, and it keeps me going. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Big hugs to all of you first thing you want to do is that magic circle so I'm just wrapping around my finger if not you can do chain six okay I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pull the thread inside of this magic circle and do chain four one two three four just going to pull in a bit here I'm going to come in and do another double crochet. We're going to have groups of two incomplete double crochet together. Chain two for space. Come in again the circle. Incomplete double crochet. And again. And take it all at once. Chain two. Again, come in the circle. Incomplete double crochet. And again. And close it at once. We're going to have eight groups like this and then after you do your two chain we're going to close it in where we closed off the first one with a slip stitch i'll meet you at the end i've done my eight groups i'm just going to pull on the string but i'm not going to uh, over pull it okay we want it to leave a little bit of a circle we don't want it to tighten too too much okay just like that now, if you find that your stitch is too uh, large, then do a five chain. If you're doing chains, don't overdo big, okay? Now, because I'm mixing colors on a few of them, I'm going to close this off, and I'm just going to tuck in in between where we have the two chain here because the next row is going to cover this leftover thread. So I'm going into like the second one just to make sure that it's secure. Nothing's going to come apart. And then tuck in your bottom one the same way. So I'll just come in the loops back here. Now this pattern had uh, a different flower. And I wanted to create my own so I can have my own pattern and similar to what she did. 
Okay, so we have eight groups. I'm coming in with the royal blue. So I've done the slip stitch knot. I'm going to come in where we have the two chain space with a single and try to hide my thread at the same time. Single, one chain. Inside of this two chain space, I'm going to create four double crochets. That's not counting the single and the one chain. Okay, so I have three double crochets and this is my fourth one. And now one chain and back in with a single into the next space again repeat single one chain and create your four double crochets two three and four one chain and come back in the same space close it with the singles we're creating these little paddles again into the next space where we have the two chain single one chain and four double crochets. So we have two, three, and four. One chain back in the same space and a single. So we have three paddles. We're going to do eight paddles coming to the end. We're going to close it in. I'll meet you at the end. I've done my eight paddles. I've done my one chain and, and the single. And I'm going to come in the first one and close it up with a slip stitch. Now, I want to get this thread into the back. So I'm just going to come from behind here where we have the, the space between the paddles. And I'm going to grab my thread and bring it to the back. Okay. We're going to do a four chain now. One, two, three, four. In between the the paddles here so I'm just gonna go from the back where we have the single and that one chain into the other one and do a single one two three four again I'm gonna come from the back here as you can see we have the single and the one chain and right into the next one where we have the single and one chain. Try that again. I think I grabbed the wrong one. From the back to the front into the next one. Whoops. My hands are slippery. Try that again, right? Good heavens. What is... Oh. You know what it is. I have the camera right in my face, so very hard to see where I'm going. One, two, three, four. Again, come in from the back to the front and to the next one. Come in and do a single. And do your four chain. One, two, three, four. We're going to do these eight chains. Can't see what I'm doing here because of the camera. Okay, so basically you're coming from the back to the front right here. Oh, another one here. From here and then into the, the next one and then close it with, pull your thread and close it with a single. So you're going to have these loops eight times in the back. Okay. Now I've done my last four chain or actually I overdid it so you do your last four chain which is the eighth one you do your single and then I'm going to come right into that first space there with a single one chain I'm going to do now five double crochets one two three, four, and five double crochets. One chain, come back in and do your single. So I have again another paddle. So we're creating another row of paddles. Go into the next loop, single, one chain. Create your five double crochets again. One, two, three, four, 
and we're going to do this eight times. So we have three, four, and five. One chain, come back in, and single. Come into the next loop, single, one chain, five double crochets, two, three, four, and five. One chain, come back in, single. We're going to create eight times the same thing all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've done my sing my one chain and the single. Now I'm just going to pull the thread a bit. I'm going to come where I have right here the single, right in between the paddles, and pull it again to the back. We're going to create a chain five now. We need one more row of paddles, okay? So one, two, three, four, and five chain. Again, I'm coming from the back in the first um, last single here of the paddle and into the next one and do a single we need to have that left behind so our paddles can fall into place one two three four five and again come in the front to the back pull your thread do a single and chain five one two three four and five and again the same thing One, two, three, four, five, and again the same thing. So complete your eight loops again. I'll meet you at the end. So I've done my last five chains. I'm going to come where I have the first chain here on the other loop with this uh, slip stitch, and then single one chain. Now this time we're going to do six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One chain, come back in, single into the next loop, single, one chain, and one, two, three, four, five and six one chain and a single so we're creating our third row of paddles and then I'll meet you at the end because we still need to do chains again for the final row okay so I finished doing the one chain and the single again I'm going to come where I have a single here in between the paddles and I'm going to pull my thread to the back and I'm going to do a five chain again one two three four five I'm going to do exactly the same thing grabbing the singles here between the, the paddles one two three four five and again with a single one, two, three, four, and five. Pretty much your flower is done now. If you want it to go bigger, all you have to do is just keep repeating the same way and create your paddles. So I'm going to continue to do these eight loops in the back, and then I'm going to cut my thread. We're pretty much done with the flower, and we're going to add the pearl. I pretty much finished it and I just closed in with a slip stitch on my first loop that we did the first chain of five cut my thread and I'm just gonna pull my my thread through the chain back here Whereas my hook is smaller, so it pulls all the threads at the same time here and there, right? Okay, so pretty much done with that. Our flower is pretty much done. Now, another thing that you can do is, I'm sure that you've probably seen in some of my flowers, you can add 
green your last row as petals and create like seven or eight double crochets the same way as we've been doing the petals but create them in green and you have some leaves right it will give you that effect of leaves okay so now on to the pearl okay so i've cut in a piece of thread the same color as my centerpiece if it was blue then i would have cut in a piece of thread of blue so i put my pearl through it and I'm just gonna come back here and pull one of the strings on one side make sure you have it well lined up and then come again on this side and pull the string on this side to the back very simple, nothing to it. Make sure that your pearl is perfectly on the center. You're going to do like two, three knots like that. If you see it's centered, then, then you're okay to continue your knots. And I'm going to do one more and we're good to go. And then just cut the axis of the thread out like that. Now if you want to be even more secure, if you have hot gun glue, you can put a dip of glue there and that's not going to go anywhere. So this is what it looks like. And we're pretty much done with these flowers. I'm just going to continue to create my 14 and then I will do the centerpiece to add these flowers on there. Thank you so much, everybody. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Until next time, bye-bye, everyone. Um, you might want to know the measurement because this is the four ply, so nine centimeters, okay? And these are eight millimeters um, pearl studs, whatever you want to call them, beads. I guess there's so many names for it. Okay, until next time, everyone. All right, take care. Oh,